Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we will talk about uh, how anyone can actually borrow book, okay? So this is the file we are going to execute. And uh, for, let me just go to the index. So here you can see we have fetched all the emails, right? And let's say, uh, actually want to um, add one more button here, okay? So that anyone can actually, mm, you know, borrow the book. I want an anchor link, okay? And I can say here that href, I will say here uh, borrow book, okay? So I will go to the b o w r o w borrow.ph, it will go to the borrow.php, okay? And we will actually pass the uh, book ID, okay? Here you can see we have fetched all of uh, all of the data from the books, right? So actually we will pass the book ID also. Say here that, okay, uh, book ID I need. So I will say here book ID equal to say php question mark i will echo the book id so let's say here uh, dollar row book id that's it and now uh, let me go to the index dot uh, php at first so i will say here localhost slash index dot php Sorry, uh, localhost slash in uh, project name, right? Library slash, I, I have to say that index dot php. So this is the actually book. Here you can see uh, we, we have added an anchor link, right? So why is the anchor link? Okay, so uh, I have to say here a uh, borrow book, okay? Uh, borrow and refresh. Okay, now you can see. Uh, we have anchor link here. If I click on borrow book here, you can see we got the book ID here, right? And we are in the borrow.php. So I just have to go to the borrow.php. And here I will uh, use PHP syntax. So here uh, I'm going to say that, okay, if the dollar underscore get super global variable and the variable name is book ID. So let me just copy it. And then actually I'm going to save it so i will say here book id and say here dollar underscore get variable and the book id so we got the book id here yes i need session here because i need to know the user okay so i'm gonna start session here session start and here i will check that if is set session so dollar underscore session variable and we know we go to the login.php yeah you can see we have set session user id so i will check that if the session is set or not i will say that if is set session user id we will once again check that if dollar uh okay let me just cut it from here and paste it here so i will check that if session id uh is not set and say else uh you have to go to the login Paste. so i will say location uh, sorry header header function and i will say here location will log in but php will uh, check that if dollar underscore session row is equal to user and say that now actually you can uh you know borrow book so uh, here uh, we'll actually do this or we'll otherwise actually uh, we'll say that so if it is not user it means uh the user is admin okay so we will actually redirect to the admin dashboard so location admin slash dashboard dot php the logged in person is either user or admin so if user then actually he can uh borrow book otherwise uh we will understand that okay the user is admin so we'll actually redirect him to the admin dashboard okay and now actually we will do query for the borrow book okay and now actually we have to start the connection also so i will say here include db dot php so db dot php so now actually we will uh, insert i mean we will add the query so dollar sql so the insert query will be insert 
into uh, the table name is transaction transactions insert into transactions user id will not add any id because id is auto incremented okay so we'll only use user id book id so user id we have book id we have uh, issue date uh, so we have to say here issue date we have returned it returned it we have status status and now we have to say values so you say here values uh, so we have to you know no we know uh, we need to know the book id so this is the book id so here we will uh, say here book id and the, the next uh, value is uh, use uh, sorry the first one is user id right not book id go here and check okay first one is user id so we will know the user id from the session right so um, let me just say here a dollar user id i will say here dollar underscore session user id now we have to pass here user id id and we will pass here dollar underscore uh, book id book. sorry uh, dollar book id right dollar book id so this is the variable and what we need uh, issue date so in php we have a function and that is called uh, car date so car date function actually return the current date uh, okay so we'll actually say it and we will not actually use uh, i mean insert return days uh, so let me just remove it return date actually will set by admin right so we'll actually remove it and uh, now we actually need to give the status so here i just have to say the status so if i go here you can see we have uh, if i go to the structure you can see in the status we have only uh, borrowed and returned so these two item right so I'll say here uh, borrowed okay so let me pop it and let me paste it here that's it so we'll set it and values user id then book id then uh, so user id book id and issue date so issue date is that this function car car date and uh, then we have status okay in the dollar result is equal to my sql i query i want to pass here connection and dollar so now the we will say that if our result not uh, we'll say that if result executes successfully we will actually enter here otherwise we will say uh, error so we echo the error we will say here that yes we will say echo error and then we will actually print the error right so the error on right now everything is all right here if rather successfully added uh, so we'll actually echo that your request set library yeah. and we'll actually uh, add anchor tag uh, anchor tag okay so here i will say anchor tag i'll say here back go back sit and it will actually go back to the hrf I'll say here okay go back to uh index dot php so let's go here and let's go back okay so now we have a borrow and here you can see when uh actually you can uh, you know you want if you want to click on i mean if you want to borrow the book so it will actually redirect you to the login page so let's say now i want to log in as admin so i will say here um one two three login and here you can see you are admin so it will actually redirect me to the admin dashboard so let's now log in as a uh, user so one two three log in now it's showing that you are a uh, user logout okay so now let's go back to the uh library slash okay uh okay let's go to the index here so now actually i want to borrow here so here you can see your request has been sent to the live video and go back and go back okay so now let's check the book is um, i mean transition table has you know 
insert value or not so here you can see the issue date actually uh, giving me the wrong information okay and now you can see we actually added issue date here perfectly because i just give here single quotation so that's why actually it's not uh, it was not working now actually it will uh, work and here is the result you can see i have added perfectly uh, if i go here you can see i have already added three book right but uh, its quantity is not changing so we should uh, do something with its uh, with its quantity actually right so let's say uh, if the result is as executed successfully so i will say here sql uh, to let's say sql to and here actually i want to say update uh, books okay set uh, quantity We'll say that quantity would be set quantity right it will be quantity is equal to quantity minus one where where the book id so i will go here and i will check so where the id so where i will say id is equal to the book id right okay the book id and let me just copy it and paste it here so i'll say like this okay i just have to say here a uh, result to let's say and equal to i will say my sql icd and here i just have to pass the connection con and the sql to dollar sql now it's perfectly done okay so now let's go back and let's say and now if i refresh here and let's say i want to uh log let's say i want to log out right okay i want to log out so i'll say here out. because we have one more uh if we go to the users table uh let me just go to the users table here you can see uh we have one more user that is Tanvir. So let's now add, uh, let's not log in as Tanvir. So I'll say here Tanvir at gmail.com, gmail dot password123, login. And now let's, let's say I want to go here. And here you can see uh, if I want to borrow book, uh, so your request has been sent to librarian. Go back here, you can see the quantity is changed. One more time, borrow quantity is changed okay okay so if i go here refresh you can see the user id is three okay so everything is perfectly working so we have done our borrow.php so i hope you understand well so thanks for watching so see you in the next video till then goodbye